Okay, here is my very simple rotoverter, a uh, 12 volt motor, 200 watt one, uh, much the same as this one here, exactly the same as that one there, and that is simply coupled to a stepper motor sitting on a bit of a L chip, a wooden frame here. The drive coupling is simply a bit of, um, well, it's actually fuel hose, that rubber fuel hose. Um, the uh, braid inside it for extra strength but um, any sort of rubber hose would do because it doesn't really load the motor up that much um, you'll see on one output of our stepper motor uh, we have a 240 volt LED and also one on the other output so um, this particular stepper motor has two sets of coils and all the um, full sensor wires we've simply cut off, we don't need them because we're using the stepper motor as a generator 12.5 uh, volts will be what's powering this motor it is a uh, 24 volt motor but um, we do not have to spin the stepper motor very fast to generate the required 240 volts to run our 240 volt LEDs and um, the specifications are right there. So it's, um, I think there was the specifications, you can't really see me in that corner. Yep. So they're the 240 volt LEDs, and uh, we have two of them on there. And like I said, all it is is a motor cup to us coupled to a stepper motor and um, you need nothing else that's just a little smoothing cap on the DC input side and when I was doing some power measurements not required of course if we were running this motor straight off a uh, car battery which of course is around 12.5 volts 13 volts so um, we'll switch it on and as you can see it works quite fine Reasonably quiet. Of course, if we uh, put it on a rubber mat, we do that. All right. We're going to turn all the shed lights off now. Okay. So there you have it. And um, the camera has auto darkened because it is very bright. Those two lights, but um, they are going flat out. And the shed is lit up quite well. As you can see, if I turn away from the lights, it's bright. But the camera auto darkens, so you don't really get to see the full effect when it is close to the lights. So there you have it. My very simple rotary transformer from an old stepper motor um, and just a uh, 12 volt DC motor of some description. We're using about uh, 25 watts to run our motor, so um, that's not too bad at all. The standby current in most of your uh, 12 to 240 volt inverters, the 500 watt type, um, has about a 25 watt standby current draw anyway, so uh, it is quite efficient for what it is and um, works very well. So that's it, that is my simple roto inverter, uh, my little setup, be great for camping and um, a small vehicle battery would last quite some time. Of course you can um, make up some leads and run those LEDs wherever you like. Hang them up in a tree. Um, you could put a box over this, insulate it, and you would hardly hear that thing. Um, definitely a lot quieter than a gasoline generator running away in the background. That's it. Get yourself a stepper motor. 
half, half decent sized one, small 12 volt DC motor, and uh, you're in business. You have 240 volt power. Not a lot of it, but enough to drive um, your LEDs, and it will do CFLs as well, up to uh, 9 watts. So, a couple of options there, but um, very simple, very quiet, very easy to make. Thanks for watching guys, we'll see you next video.